Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm here to announce Susan and I's uh, November collab, open collab. We've been having our collabs, you know, every month for the whole year of 2022. And this month is going to be so exciting. So our hashtag this month is hashtag cornucopia of recipes. And I will show you that in a second. I just want to tell you about it real quick. Uh, this is going to be a thankful theme for this month to go with, you know, Thanksgiving in the U.S. at least. And uh, so, and it's also going to be uh, Susan and I's way of say, thanking the participants this year. And, uh, you know, in this, you have to participate in this collab. But uh, we are going to each give away, both of us each, a $25 gift card, an e-gift card. So uh, we would, you know, email it to you or text it to you or something. But uh, yes, we are going to be doing that and picking two winners, one for each of us. So the way that you can uh, join in the collab is to post a video on each Friday and you will get a point. Uh, if you post a video each Friday or, you know, whenever you can on, on the, uh, the Fridays, it has to be on the Fridays. And you will get, for posting a video, entries toward the giveaway. And you will get two entries towards uh, each video on each of our channels. And then you would need to link uh, Susan and I's channels under your video. And make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Um, and uh, let us know, let one or both of us know that you're going to participate. And we will add your channel link to our description box so people can find you that way and uh, also with the hashtag which uh, you need to make sure you spell it right so that we can find you and the particip participants can find you and we you know are going to keep track of these points also so uh, also another way that was one way you could you know enter into the giveaway a second way you can enter is uh, to Let's see. Oh, comment under our videos. So it, even on this one, even on the announcement videos, that, that will count. So one point for each comment on both of our videos and or each of our videos. And also you can, you know, do a video response and share our channel or share our channel too. Uh, sharing the channel is not on this list, but I'm going to put that out there. If you want to share our videos in this announcement, things like that. Uh, so people can join in that would uh, let me know let us know that you shared it though and maybe send us a link of where you showed it so shared it so we can go and find the shared um, you know video or whatever and also the same with the video response let us know you did one and maybe even send us a link so we can we can find it uh, so those are the ways you can enter and so the prompts basically are you can work on any project you want but that's number one and number two use something related to recipes or food from your stash and a thankful th three add a thankful word or a themed uh thankful themed word quote or scripture verse and four the four the three fridays that are our crafty fridays are november 11 18 and 25 and i will have all of that listed <laughs> in uh, my description box below this video so you can read over it. You know, if you have any questions, let Susan and, and or I know and we will answer your questions as best as we can. Here is the hashtag just so you can see it in black and white <laughs> right here. Cornucopia of recipes. It's also on my thumbnail. So uh, yeah, that is, it's, uh, that's cornucopia of recipes. Three words all together. Wish the hashtag all lowercase. So I want to show you a quick an idea that I'm going to be working on for the month of November for the thankful. Uh, I haven't picked out my thankful words yet or quotes, but I have started on the recipe food part because I just got done. I already had my stuff out here and I just got done with a recipe journal. And I really already had these little books in mind that I wanted to uh, do something with while I had my goodies out here. So I got started. This is the first one I got started on. These little books came like this. They're little recipe books. 
And this one I already took the coils out. See, they come with coils like this. And I took the coils out of this one. And I wanted to leave the uh, spine intact so that I could actually use this spine. I thought that would, I just like this size. And I thought, well, I don't, I don't necessarily want to make it any, you know, bigger spine. I just want to, you know, it's so cute. I just wanted to use it the way it was without the coil so I took carefully took the coil out so I didn't mess up anything here and I already redid the front because on the front of this one there was a picture and words and stuff I didn't like so I redid this this cover put this little metal plate on here and I have a temporary if it gets no it's not stuck in there <laughs> but I might, get, I might get stuck but a little labor here and I'm, I probably won't even leave that in there because it doesn't look great in there but here's what it looks like with the metal plate. And those are actual brads there that I put in there. And so I'm going to strengthen, you know, reinforce and strengthen the spine. And maybe put some fabric on there or something. And this picture I think is fine for the back. That was the original picture on the back. And here's the inside of this one. These are so cute. Uh, I love the, the paper here. And it even has a little nameplate. Isn't that adorable? I just love these little cookbooks. And then this one, I went ahead since I started on that on that cover. I kind of just went. I was on a roll, got on a roll, and I haven't even taken the taken the quill out of this one yet. But I went ahead and did the cover. For now, I mean, I might add other things, other things to these covers. But for now, this is where I'm at. So I'm just showing you where I'm at. But this one uh, is a dessert. Was a dessert recipe book, but I didn't like what was up here. So I did this little kind of collage here, just a piece of paper and this little piece here that says the kitchen is open. So I still have to take this apart and take the pages out. But here's the inside of this one. Isn't that pretty? And here's the nameplate. They all have a little nameplate. I think they're so cute and they look brand new. Like, uh, I wonder what copyright they are. Let's just look real quick. <laughs> look at these little papers. Aren't they cute? And a little pages. Uh, they are 1985. So yeah, they are vintage. And they have the cutest, you know, neat little pictures. And look at this. Isn't it adorable? Aren't these adorable? <laughs> this is just the cutest little uh, recipe book. And in this one, too, I didn't like the picture. So, yeah, this one is the original picture with dessert. I think I said that. This one I didn't like the whole front either. So I covered it and put this little kind of collage there. Favorite family recipes. And so i got to take that apart. But let me show you the inside papers here. Uh, again, it's like old-fashioned kind of uh, antique looking uh, uh, kitchen utensils here on the front and back. Aren't those cool? I just, I just, I, I'm just amazed at that. And then here's a little nameplate in this one. So pretty and so cute, right? Yeah. So uh, there's the front. I still got to take it apart. And here's the back. This one has the cutest little back on it uh, with this uh, over, kind of an overstuffed wing back chair there by the fireplace, like an old-fashioned brick, you know, one of those really large fireplaces and brick walls, and it has copper pots on the wall, and a mantle there, you can see a little bit of that, so the front did not look like that, it had um, pictures of food on it that I didn't like, <laughs> and the same with the other one, so uh, anyway, this one had more, I don't know if I showed you the back, more uh, dessert on the back, and this one had, uh, has food on the back, but it's fine. It has a water bottle, kind of like a wine bottle and some pasta jar and a jar of olives here. Some mushrooms, and there is some meat there, but this one, this one I like. This, the front, the front I didn't like. So, anyway, I think they're going to be really cute. And then I also have these little ones. Now, these are hard back covers. These are not like paperback. These are hard back and but these are paperback but there are also little cookbooks that I picked up that I've been wanting to do something with so if I have time like if I get finished with these I'll I would think I would like to start working on these and this one is a little dessert one so it has a super cute little cookies and things on the cover so I probably would leave this just like this unless I do something right here but <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with that I like it I like it just the way it is really and this one I don't like so much see it's not so pretty that's what I'm talking about. That's how these words that I covered up. I just really, you know, just it's, it's just to me, it's just not pretty. <laughs> so I would probably cover up this whole, you know, this whole cover, this whole cover on these and just use this as a, um, you know, stabilizer in the journal, you know, cover the front and the back and all that kind of stuff. 
but this one I want to leave. And and really, it's just the on this one it would just be for the size. You know, it's just so cute, and you know, I don't know. I just like the size of these. This, these are smaller too than this, yeah, but I like I like all these sizes. That's why I brought them home because I just thought they would make really cute little journals. And these are like a traveler's no notebook size almost. Let's see what size they are. Just kind of inter I'm curious myself <laughs> now that I mention it. Let's cut. Okay, so this is four inches wide and about hmm, uh, just barely over eight inches long. And these are th just under three and a half inches wide and I'm just barely under seven inches. Well, maybe if I put it up to the top. Yeah, seven inches long exactly. So. Uh, I think this is going to be a fun month. Let us know. And uh, it, it's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of fun for, for the Thanksgiving and thankful theme. And uh, we'll see who the winners are at the end of the month. So thank you for watching. I'm not sure what date the, the uh, it'll be after that Friday, last Friday, that the winners will be chosen. So Susan and I will do a separate video on, on the announcing the winner. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time and happy crafting.